all right my good good people welcome back this is part number three of puss foods and other jamaican stories by dita sylvester we are currently reading the story puss food as you can see so if you remember make sure you like share comment and subscribe i have put the links for part one of this story and part two of this story in the description of this video so you can catch up on it like share and do all of the good stuff so let's get back into part three get back into the story so we can find out what happened to vicky what happened to mass benji what happened to everybody? All Aristotle. I'm curious to find out what happened to Aristotle. That are the puss. All right. Two years later, Leon, that a Miss Vicky, nephew, mother, call him, call to him one day. Say, when last you see your auntie? She did ask. About, about three days now. Leon replied, Is what? This not like her at all, you know? His mother say everybody knows a vicky walk about walk all about maybe you should go and check her and see if she all right lee lee go down on auntie yard and after him not getting a response from licking down the door calling for several minutes in the side say i'm gonna climb up and, and prep prep through the window from there him could not see the top of vicky head and she just sit down in a one chair with her back to him. Auntie Vicky. In color. It's me, Leon. Open up the door, no man. Vicky never move. She never say not a word. So the boy left her. We go get help. You see, when the man them eventually broke down the door, them see, them see something that would not hurt them dreams. In nights to come. Vicky was sitting in one armchair. Trigger warning for anybody who is sensitive right now. Vicky did a sit down in a one armchair with the most sickest look on her face. Her head, her hair, they all over the place. Her eyes, them look like they so pop out her head. Her lips, them pull back almost to her ears her ears them bumbo cloth her hands them a clutch the side of the chair the night gone which she did have and tear up the ear in the room stink stink so bad bumbo cloth stink like dead body the car in a come in and and, and i have a hard time for determine where the cars how that woman ya drop out you see in at the end it was ruled an unnatural death that occurred under questionable circumstances most people in a cabbage cut still believe say vicky's demise was the result of her was the result of her visiting was the result of her being visited by something evil and supernatural somebody obia her blood clot Aristotle come for that. Excuse the, the, the stuttering people, you know. It happens sometimes, you know. My tongue heavy. Vicky would have been pleased at the turnout turn out for her own dead party. Almost everybody, including Mass, Benji, and Aristotle, was present. But though it was a big funeral, there was hardly any sad face in the place. Most people, um, for most people that were there, not to pay for them respects, but because them did fear so the dopey of the deceased was going to come back. So, them go at the funeral and make sure. And also, they were at the graveside singing one of the last songs them over Vicky when Aristotle was heard making some very curious noises. Benji ignored the song, but then Leon walked over to the puss. A ball, him a ball for, for my auntie? Him asked. Mas Benji look over closely at the cat now, perch pan his shoulder, pan the little boy's shoulder. Then him look back pan Leon. You could have never tell with a puss like this, him conclude. Maybe I laugh him a laugh. <laughs> so the moral of the story is people do could and could shall follow you. 
Don't see people things and want it. Don't see people things and try to slap with people to get them things. Because nine times out of ten, there's a black post named Aristotle that will come and visit you in the middle of the night. Remember me to all you.